day 99 and I'm still in my tent. It's um, half past eight in the morning. I've had a cup of tea, I've had a cup of coffee, I've had breakfast, I've read my book, I've made notes. <laughs> and I've just had a chat with Judy and um, it's drizzling. Um, it's, it's wet, um, pretty miserable out there. But the forecast is actually for the rain to stop around 11 in the morning and then brighten up. And the winds um, are 65 kilometers an hour, but, but falling. So there is a, still a small chance that we, this afternoon, we'll be able to climb up Mount Rental. But yeah, if, if the weather doesn't really improve, um, we're going to just take a zero and we'll go up uh, Mount Rental tomorrow morning um, because it is meant to be so stunning. So I'd much rather wait and do it on a really beautiful day. So um, we're bunkering down, <laughs> keeping ourselves amused, doing little jobs, probably cut my toenails, <laughs> that's probably too much information. It's very important you do that though, keep them short. <laughs> so we'll find ways to amuse ourselves and um, hopefully get out of the tents in three or four hours. Okay, keep you posted. Bye for now. Judy has just come to visit <laughs> from outside <laughs> Nikki's tent. Yes, and um, uh, look, as you can see, there is some sunshine out there. It's finally um, come out. It's yeah. almost lunchtime, yeah. but we've made our decision yep. about mm. half an hour ago when it was still um, windy and rainy and whatever, which yeah. is it's getting a little late for us to be heading, heading off. off. Yep. And we'd rather go fresh in the morning. So we're yeah. going to have a day in our tents. We've yes. had most of the day anyway. I'm loving it. <laughs> Some are going to move on. Um, but we're just, yeah, we're just not, but this afternoon no. too, wanting to sort of do do that with yeah, and the thing a sort is of that half-baked day. It's sort of, you know, been hanging yeah. around and hanging around. around. Yeah. And also another thing is that because it is probably going to be sunny this afternoon, it'll dry everything up so that when we do go up to the Mount Rental tomorrow, it'll be just really... It'll be dry, it'll be pleasant, it won't... Yeah. Winds are dropping, so yeah. there's still been some decent gusts coming too. Apparently they're dropping, so we're going to go bright and early tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to go all the way, hopefully, to Tarn Hut, so we'll have a long day, but but that's what we've decided to do. Yep, yep. so <laughs> camp day. We don't think we'll move into the hut. We're here, no. it's full of, full mice, of mice, and it's been chewing through all sorts of things. I actually had a mouse crawling up outside my tent on the mesh yeah. as well, so yeah. they're pretty voracious around this hut. <laughs> yeah, but we'll... um. Do a little bit more footage because um, once it really has well and truly stopped raining, the sun's come out, we'll uh, go out and, um, and have some lunch and we'll be eating and there's a table outside the hut so I'm sure we'll be sitting at that. So um, we'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Now there's a reason why I'm filming this toilet because yesterday it was revolting but today it has been cleaned. It is so much better than it was. And now I'm going to explain why. Steve, I understand that you're the one who's looking after the toilet here. Yes, yes, I love a clean dunny. <laughs> you love a clean dunny. Yes. Well, thank you, because so, so do we. No, no, it's no trouble at all. It's only five minutes work and she's swished out and she's just like a new one. Just like a new one. Like the Hilton. <laughs> well, thank you very much. No problem at all. I'm going to keep my darling darling on because he's such a good dunny cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> and also, it's not just this one. I understand you go around every hut you go to, you clean the toilet. Oh, precedent has been <laughs> <laughs> So anyone watching this, if they go to a particularly clean toilet, they'll know that this is the person that does it. So thank you. You, may, may, you may start a trend. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. hoping it catches on. Yeah. It's so easy to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There are some wild goats. I'm not going to get too close though. I'll just zoom in. Uh, they're like the sheep. Off they go. This, this is Becca and she tried to walk out and she has um, slipped and, and has got a really big hole in her knee. So she's been in contact with SOS <laughs> and they told her to do exactly what has been done. Alicia did that and she's a paramedic so that's good. 
and um, fluid. So she's having a cup yep, of tea. Yeah, having some tea. Yep, yeah. very excited. Yeah. <laughs> right. But it, 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 she couldn't walk out because it's at least a two-day walk um, and also there are other things. So anyway, a helicopter's coming yep. to pick you up. Yep. How do you feel about that? I mean, I am a little terrified of helicopters. Oh, are but, you? Um, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm up for new experiences. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm All just right. uh, bummed I can't finish the hike. Yeah. At least I have tea. Yeah, and the hike's not going anywhere. You can always come back another time. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to wait with you until the helicopter comes. Thank you. Okay. Here comes the helicopter. <laughs> rescue but having said that there have actually been quite a few this season but she couldn't have walked out on that injury and um, she had another medical issue too so she'll get the care that she needs did it absolutely did the right thing we used the in reach this time and the communication went backwards and forwards and it was the rescue services call to send out the chopper so she was in good hands uh, I can't believe this service it's incredible brilliant the view from my tent good night bye for now it's going to be a big day tomorrow jill and steve are off and maybe we'll see you up there yeah right, we'll see you on here the we summit. all come see you on the summit <laughs> bye. bye have bye. a good day bye so we're heading home into the summit should take us about five hours that's just the first half of our day <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It's a very special morning today because it is day 100. Yay. <laughs> and on day 100, we get to do the second highest peak <laughs> of the Tiara. Oh, yeah, Mount Rental. So we're doing little rental and big rental. Mount Rental. Mount Rental. And, and then, then if we're feeling okay after that, we're going to have a crack at Purple Top as well. Yeah. So multiple peaks. Want to try and get to Tarn Hut, don't yeah. we? Yeah. So it's like a nine hours, nine, ten, eleven hours, 10, 11 hours. 12, maybe. <laughs> don't know. See how we go. We're starting at seven, so we've got 13 hours, 14 hours of daylight. So okay. heaps of time to do it in. Yeah. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. We will be walking up through the forest for a while until we get up and out onto the mountains proper. It has taken us an hour and 25 minutes to climb out, up and out of the forest. And now we're in the open. I'll show you where we're going. Here we are. And we follow the path up to there. And that is the view the other direction. You can see the hut. It's in that patch of lawn that we stayed at. Although we weren't in the hut, we were camping. Rocks are rippling. Here's Judy. We're nearly at the top of this hill. I'll film from the top when I get there. 
This is the view. There's the ocean from up here. There's Judy coming up. on the summit of Little Rental where we're going to take a break and I'm going to show you the view. We have come from that direction we'll, after the break we'll be going off in that direction Done. Out of the wind makes all the difference. We'll be going down soon and apparently it's the next bit of down that is a little bit tricky. It's this loose scree, which is our least favourite thing. We are going down there, but ultimately we are going to be following the path that goes all the way up to the top. We can see some people up there. We are going down that way. And we have to continue down there before we go up. It's not too bad so far. They're doing it without poles. Okay. <laughs> Status report appreciated. <laughs> we took the right hand side and have come down here. And we're actually nearly at the bottom. Not too much more. And then we'll start our climb. We came from up there. Still got a little bit more down to do. And if you're coming down the lovely scree slope, and you can see some more hikers in the background. It's not quite as bad as we expected. No, it's not. There's a few slidey bits, but it's not too bad. No. Maybe there's more to come. And we're at the bottom. Soon we'll be climbing start of the climb up and we have a couple of hikers coming down. We have 200 meters more to go in elevation and 700 meters to get to the summit of Mount Rental. I'm not sure if we're going to get much of a view because the summit is becoming cloudy. Mind you, maybe by the time we get there it would have all blown away. climbing. We are at the top of Mount Rental, but the view is a little bit obscure. It's still 
those clouds coming in. I've just absolutely loved today climbing Little Rintel and Mount Rintel. It's been wonderful. <laughs> it's pretty windy at the top. Best day. Walking across the top. It's 1.7 kilometers to Rintel Hut where we're going to have some lunch. We've been walking for five hours. Some things grow up here. Not sure what that is. It looks like a moss. Hmm. And we are continuing along the top for a while. the next pole. <laughs> Not sure. Oh no, I can see one down to the left, down there. Oh wow. from. I can see a hike up there. Walking through here is just so magical. It's so good. going into the forest for a little while. We have just come down that. It was a bit tricky. And uh, just got a little bit more to go. And here's the hut. Rental hut. Time for lunch. We are back in the forest after lunch and we have got five hours to get to Tarn Hut. Um, via purple top so we will have a climb but the climb is like now so at least <laughs> it's not at the end of the day so it's going to be a big day for us long day but um, so are the next couple so I've got to get used to it <laughs> bye for now into an opening and that looks like a dam down there man-made coming out of the forest now that's where we've come from there's that dam and then the ocean in the distance and we continue up there the summit, I think. I think so. Purple there, like, top. Get on it. Close over there. Tarn Hut is this way. There is?
back into the forest for a little while. It's half past five. We are still going through the forest. We have a bit of down, then up, and then down to Tarn Lake, which is about two and a half kilometers away. So, still going, but we knew it would be a long day. But it's glorious, not too hot, because it's in the forest. I'll be glad when we get to um, the hut though. We can set up our tent, have something to eat. I'm incredibly hungry. Hmm, okay, talk to you later, bye. We're into Tarn Hut. And we can see the water through the trees. We just uh, wanted to say that it's been a big day. It sure has. It has, not it? I think we've got 200 metres to the hut. Yes. We're standing outside the tarn because yeah. it's called Tarn Hut and it's very beautiful. Yeah. And um, the walk from the rental hut to here is it's actually good. really, really pretty. Mm. It was quicker, quicker than all the other yeah. sections. It yeah. was better times. But we have been walking over 11 hours today, including all our breaks and yeah. filming mm. and photos and all of that. But it's been a big day. Has been a big day. But a successful day. Three yes. summits. Three summits. And we're looking forward to camping and getting our food and eating. That's what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> so rentals done. Done. Yeah. Purple top done. Purple top done. Very happy. And it, what is it in the tomorrow? It's the um, um, mid wire mid -wire to top yeah. wire yeah. Um, Some of that river track can be a bit interesting, but we'll find out. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow's well, this problem. Yeah, this might be good night for now. Okay. Bye. Bye. And here is the hut. I can see a tent already. I will. We'll go and check and see whether we're going to pitch our tent. Yeah. Go this way too. Oh. Mid wire uh, hut. Tomorrow's. Okay, there's lots of empty spot spots. 